Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. This is Tom Fox again. I'd like to tell you about an exciting new tool, the NordLocker Business. NordLocker Business is an encrypted cloud storage platform for storing, sharing, and managing business data securely. Developed by cybersecurity experts, it ensures business files can be accessed anywhere and anytime, but only by authorized parties. NordLocker Business allows you to create a highly secure work environment where you can safely store sensitive data and share it with members of your organization and your business partners. Using the platform significantly improves your company's cybersecurity, no matter the industry or the size of your business. The product is a tool that can help you prevent data breaches and avoid unwanted data exposure. Nord Locker Business is compliant with ISO 27001. It's HIPAA compliant and GDPR compliant. For more information, go to nordlocker.com backslash creators and use promo code CPN. I know you will find it a great tool. The Daily Compliance News for June 20, 2023, the end of CV's edition. We begin with that story from the Financial Times, uh, which asks, is AI being used in recruitment the death knell of the CV? Students applying for graduate jobs can take advantage of a new personal interview coach. If they send over a specific description, they can receive tailored interview questions and answers. The coach offered on the search engine is, uh, generates interview questions, uh, which will help you uh, in your interview process. So AI is not a new tool for hiring and job seeking, uh, but it will certainly shift the dynamics to those applying. Next up from the Wall Street Journal in the sports, a just sordid story of two disgruntled parents, uh, soccer parents, who were uh, so upset that uh, their son uh, was not playing on the team Uh, that they uh, whistle blew a 35-year-old allegation against the coach that he had abused his former girlfriend, now wife and mother of four children, 35 years uh, later. And um, unfortunately, this played out on the national stage as the coach was the head of the U.S. men's national team. And the parents uh, were uh, the parents of Gio Reyna, Claudio Reyna, former men's coach, captain, men's captain, uh, team captain, and his wife, Daniel Egan. And they resented the coach's um, explanation that their son, Gio, um, really hadn't practiced hard enough and had a bad attitude. So uh, they tried to make up allegations uh, from some 35 years ago and get him kicked off the team as the coach. So what happens when whistleblowers go after people for personal vendettas. Next up, also from the Wall Street Journal, an internal J.P. Morgan report provided new details on the bank's ties to Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, Chase renewed its ties to Epstein in 2019 and found that he regularly given business advice to one-time executive Jess Staley. He wondered why um, J.P. Morgan settled. Well, now we may know the reason. And our final story comes to us today from Bloomberg, which tells the equally sordid story of Huawei uh, engaging in bribery, uh, spying, um, not bribery, but spying to get a a contract to do the country of Denmark's cellular network upgrade to 5G. So you wonder why Huawei has been banned uh, and suffered uh, such issues economic restrictions in the U.S., uh, this article really explains some of the tactics that the company used and why really no U.S. company should have anything to do with Huawei going forward. 
The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.